It's Monday and we're already looking forward to the weekend. This weekend you can enjoy Burgoo cocktails, live music, and so much more at the third annual Burgoo Bash at Against the Grain Brewery. We have a wonderful preview here in the Charlie Wilson KitchenAid Kitchen this morning. Sam Cruz is here from Against the Grain. Jared Fox Matthews, busy as a bee here with this Burgoo from the Fox Den and Apron Inc. board member Kimberly Thompson. Great to have you all here. Thanks for having me. Right. Yes. Starting out eating and, and drinking and celebrating this great event. This is how many years now, the Burgoo Bash? Three, Three years. years. Yeah. You're back again. And it really is. I mean, what a great opportunity to celebrate. I feel like that this is Kentucky's dish. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. I mean, I feel like everybody always has a really unique this, I can't this tell you. It's our chili, you know? Right. It's <laughs> our chili. It's our it's chili. chili. How many folks do you have now coming together uh, in this big Burgoo Bash kind of? Cook off. Well, we're bigger than ever this year. This this being our third year and second year sponsored by Monks Road Bourbon. Um, so we, we've got a lot going on. We have 21 entries thus far. We're still looking for more. So if you, you can, can make Burgoo, oh, yeah. come on, we need eight more entries to cap it. Uh, so we have 21 entries for that, several entries for the cornbread competition. And, and that's new this year, the cornbread yeah. competition, right? Absolutely, yeah. We're excited for that. I think what goes better with Burgoo yeah. than cornbread right and that's another recipe that everybody has their secret own handed down cornbread yes. recipe that mm -hmm. you can really make to kind of wow the judges uh, who do you have judging this year oh gosh it's a secret right now oh I'm sorry no. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh it must be top secret right yeah. mm -hmm. and to judge the best of the best at everything and of course it's happening at against the grain great host for this mm -hmm. once again yeah, yeah this year uh, we actually we're still at the against the, uh, the slugger field complex but we're down in the west end um, of the complex in the Hall of Fame yeah. area. So it's much larger, much more spacious. We have room for more contestants. It's March 16th from 3 to 6 p.m. Tickets are $35, so you can still get them online at www.atgbrewery.com. We're really looking forward to seeing everyone. And Jared, you're going to enter uh, your own recipe, which is? Yes, yes. Well, I, can't I know you, you can't I tell can't me tell you all that, I know you can't, can't tell me all that's in there. I can, I can, tell, I can tell you a few ingredients. Yeah. You know, I was going to do it the traditional <laughs> way and bring some wood and a fire, but I figured that <laughs> might not be a good idea here in the set. So. Right? Yeah, so we're just doing it on the stove top. Don't tell anybody that's really You got your grandma's right. pot, yeah. too. I see. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. This is the original Classic Burgoo pot. pot. Yeah. yeah, right? I feel yes. like the Burgoo pot is a unique thing. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> we like love. Love love. Yeah, love. so I mean, every, I'm everybody. To ask what's in there? <laughs> What's in that? Yeah, a little bit of everything. So, well, of course, we got some uh, some bourbon because we are Kentucky. Um, so that's in there, and everything I do at all my restaurants, so you'll see a lot of Dano spice yeah, in there. So spice. we got uh, we got the spicy, and we got the original. And then, of course, you know, burger. I think the only real rule is that you got to have at least three different meats. So is uh, that? Yeah, that's the only rule. Lot of vegetables. That's right. Yeah, a lot, a lot of vegetables. Yeah, lots of the vegetables. We got uh, sweet corn in there, green beans, potatoes. Uh, the three, the three meats that we use the are the holy trinity. The holy trinity. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like Cajun food. Yeah, I do yeah. it all. So. Uh, but we do, we put rabbit in there, venison, and chicken thighs. The so whole that's, farm. That's right. our <laughs> yeah. It's the farm in the pot. And right. then some 35K beer, right? And Maybe 35K and K beer. beer. Yeah. We like that. We love and it. And a liquor yeah. cabinet, yeah. too. <laughs> From the the grain. I feel yeah. like you should, like, like have a little bit of the cornbread before you start trying everything to get a little liquor content and everything. And is this your cornbread too? Yeah, so this yeah. is our cornbread. Um, I love sweet cornbread and I love spicy cornbread. So we put a little Cajun flair to it. So it's got a little sweetness, got some jalapeno in there. And of course the Dano's spicy. So. Love it. I love that. That Dano's uh, spicy, it's just, just the right amount of spice with like overdoing it. It's been a great staple for a lot of cooks. Absolutely. So everything with Burgoo Bash benefits Apron Inc. Kimberly's here to tell us about that connection. Once again, they're connecting to you guys. Isn't that great? We're we're so excited to be a part of this for the third year in a row. Um, we couldn't do, Apron couldn't do what they do without the support of their restaurants and all their sponsors and our dear friend Carolyn Knopp with Simply PR. So yeah, we're really excited. You can still Aww, get your she, tickets. You um, made her day. I know, Yay. she's always behind the scene, never in front. Sometimes she does a cameo for me. Um, but you can still get your tickets at againstthegrainbrewery.com for $35. And if you haven't had it, this is a great setup mm -hmm. to come and try Burgoo. It is the Kentucky Stew or as Jared said Kentucky chili. chili yeah and what better way to support the restaurants Monks Road against the grain and Apron Inc and all our local employees I know this is a competition that kind of brings out your home chefs as well which yes. is really cool that you'll see like your your restaurateurs and your your chefs you see Jared there you know uh, you'll see everybody there 
but it's cool to see those mom and pop that they've you been do. perfecting and and bringing you know their proud burgoo and cornbread to a competition like this but it gives you an idea to kind of sample different restaurants too Absolutely. right like I think mm -hmm. too when you try it you realize oh wow we haven't been to this restaurant or I've never heard of this restaurant right. we ought to go absolutely and a lot of times it's the owners and the chefs right mm -hmm. then so you get that personal connection and last year I went and there was a pot just like this but it was much <laughs> much bigger so that had been in the family for a long time right and then yeah. you get to hear I think burgoo is one of those things that I feel like it has its roots in bourbonism too right everybody has a story about how they were taught to make burgoo or a story about the first time that they tried burgoo right that I feel like uniquely kind of I don't know keeps us all together as Kentuckians to share in those wonderful stories um, but I'm here all day long telling stories here right? yeah. <laughs> won't tell the story of my parents yeah. making burgoo but you can come on out to the burgoo yeah. bash those tickets are still available once again before we go I want to show uh, Jared's final uh, final beautiful dish I'll put it up there so we'll take a gorgeous picture of that there we go. There, you go. there we go. That if you want to check out yeah. Burgoo Bash, the third annual Burgoo Bash is this Saturday, March the 16th from 3 to 6 p.m. at Against the Grain. Once again, it's going to be actually the Hall of Fame area of the Louisville Slugger Field over on East Main. This benefits wonderful cause, Apron Inc. So get your tickets. And also, there's still a couple of openings. If you have the best Burgoo, go on and enter. Yeah. Come on, yeah. bring your cornbread, bring, bring your Burgoo, and uh, come hang out as well.